Hi, my name is Rachel Van Artsdalen. And hey, my name is David Van Artsdalen. And we're the owners of the Hosmer House Tavern and Inn in Versailles, Indiana. The Hosmer House started as a dream for a whole new way of life. In Cincinnati, I was a realtor and I bought and flipped and sold houses. And I owned a food truck and restaurant in Dayton, Ohio. We met in uh, September of 2019, and then we were married a year later to the exact date of our first date. We just knew that we wanted to be together. There was no doubt. When we met each other, we just knew it was meant to be. So I had four kids, and David had two, and we needed to find a home that was not only big enough to house our family, but we wanted a different lifestyle. You know, it was important to us to raise our kids in a more natural environment where we could be more present with them and where they could explore nature the way we did growing up. So we found this beautiful home in a place that literally doesn't have any stoplights. And our nearest neighbor is a mile away. It was perfect for us. We're surrounded by trees and water and wildlife and it just forced us to relax. You know, when we're so used to just the hustle and bustle of the city and being self-employed and all the stress that goes along with it. I mean, it's hard to be stressed out out here in just this beautiful surrounding. So we knew that we were just being guided out here and we just had to trust it. The one thing that we were lacking that we we're so used to from the city was different choices of places to eat. It's mostly all fast food out here and to get a, a good meal was 40 minutes each way. So we knew we had to do something. So we had this idea to do a really cool farm and table restaurant. You know, we can go meet the farmers, get everything local, all the meats, eggs, whatever we could, all the vegetables. And so we just kind of started like, like thinking about this big idea. And we kind of put it on the back burner as like a 10 year plan. And after a few months of not really doing anything out here, Rachel's like, man, like I'm getting this itch to do something big. So, Again, we're just kind of driving around. She gets this vision, like I'm gonna get online and look for commercial properties, and found this really cool place. And that's when we found what would become the Hosmer House. We get as many ingredients local as possible. Everything to our salad dressings, everything we make in-house, except for the ketchup and mustard. So that makes us unique and special. Uh, the feel is like a modern tavern. The building was first erected in 1830, so. I really wanted to use that when designing it as the inspiration. We tore everything out of it to expose its natural elements. We used the natural gas lighting for the lanterns outside, exposed brick walls. We opened up um, the banister and then had that completely refinished because it's one of the first things you see when you walk into the building. We used all reclaimed barn wood to trim out all the windows and the baseboards. The staff is super friendly. They love connecting with the customers and vice versa. And I think that people really feel welcomed and they really feel the warmth from our staff and the genuine care that they have for their customers. And then upstairs is not only our office space and space for our kids, but is a large suite uh, for guests who can stay perfect for couples or girlfriend getaways. And you walk up the stairs and you have your own private entrance outside of the restaurant. And it's this long hallway with a bathroom that was inspired by my great grandmother. And people walk in there, they think everything's original, which is exactly what I wanted. I think that it's just such a great getaway. Um, if you don't have a lot of time, a quick weekend getaway. You know, it's great for when people are passing through town. Interstate 50 is, is a great area like where people head to different cities. The Indiana Wine Trail, we're smack dab in the center of that, so that's great. And people can stay there while they're, you know, just kind of touring through Indiana. You're right next to all these incredible state parks. Uh, you can have room service, you know, whatever it is you want. Go dine in the dining room downstairs, have a couple drinks, and know that you don't have to worry about driving anywhere. And just go back up to your room. And I think that that's definitely appealing to people. That makes the three to four hour drive possible, whereas otherwise it might not be. And so I think people really look forward to those small little destination getaways, and we offer that. Come join us. <laughs>